Trey, you've, you've blocked for a few different quarterbacks <laughs> in your time here. What differences do you notice blocking for Justin? Oh, well, the first thing is he has such an understanding of how the triple option works. And just, you know, Coach Johnson's scheme, he's really been one to get in his book and study it and be able to execute it a lot of times flawlessly. And it's something that's so comforting as an offensive lineman when you're, you're really putting it all out there to get your block, you know that Justin's going to capitalize on what you do. Um, and also just as a leader, he's uh, been really special in leading the team and instilling a culture of success and a culture that we need to be successful. And he's, he's done great at that. Trey, you mentioned uh, Justin and just his understanding of the offense. How do, how do you see that manifest itself, that, that he has that maybe deeper? <laughs> uh, yardage. I mean, you see a lot of times last year there was some, some just really brilliant reads, and it's something that you sort of learn as you've – I've played in this offense for a while, and as you, as you start to play in the offense and you learn how the offense works, you can sort of appreciate how Justin makes those reads. And where nine times out of ten a quarterback would have given the ball, he keeps it and runs outside. And it's, it's little stuff like that, and it's something it's, – it's, it's hard to explain, and it's, it's really sort of a deeper appreciation. But – you know, it manifests itself as a lot of touchdowns, and he's had a lot of success running the ball, and we as a team have had a lot of success running the ball and play action passes and stuff like that. So that's one of the ways. Uh, Trey, yes. as an experienced lineman, having played in the system for a long time, uh, and I know you only had a couple of days of practice, mm -hmm. but how, do the, how does it look to you and the lineman with a whole new backfield just about it? How, how are things going? I mean. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely something that is um, that we've been working on. Um, you know, having a whole new backfield is just an, another opportunity for people to step up and and learn how to fit the offense. I mean, every year we have new people, and last year, you know, a lot of those guys hadn't played before then, and then they really stepped up and came into their own. I mean, Sinjin Days was a guy who moved around. He was a quarterback, then an A back, then a B back, and he just stepped up wherever he had to play. So you see a lot of these young guys coming in, and they're so eager to learn. Um, Patrick's a guy who's just so eager to learn and so eager to be able to run the offense successfully that even though they're making mistakes, they're making them full speed, and they're making them so that they can learn and become better. And especially with the wide receivers, you see a lot of that, where people are fighting and people really want to be successful. So yeah, there's a, a lot of new people coming in, but they look at it as an opportunity. Keith, do you have personal goals for this year? I mean, you probably achieved some of them last year, but kind of what are some things that you would like to accomplish in your last season? Here? Uh, yeah, there's there's definitely things. Um, there's definitely personal goals that I write down, um, you know, before camp. Um, I think the main thing I have are offensive line goals. Um, I definitely want to be a leader in that. That's a personal goal to be a leader there. But as the offensive line, we've come up with some goals that are, you know, very uh, – I, I, I feel comfortable with those goals. Um, we definitely want to lead the nation in rushing. We definitely want to have the best third down efficiency. There's a lot of those goals that, as an offensive line, we want to focus on. And especially in this offense, you play as a unit so much. That's something we say when we go out before we start a drive. You know, play as a unit, play as a team. Let's all do our job. And so the goals as an offensive line are just just to be better than we ever have been and keep keep going up.